Well, howdy, 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 nearly teen or citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this a brand new day. I need to find, because I haven't found them, because when I discovered that my glasses were dirty, I realized I didn't know where they were, but I need to find my little microfiber glasses cleaner things. They come in little, you know, pre-packaged. They're like a moist towelette, but they're microfiber things that you can wash glasses with them, and you're not going to scuff or, or scratch your glasses. The glasses that I have, as much as they're wonderful, wonderful glasses, they're also cheap online glasses, and I didn't want them to cost the person who bought them for me any extra money. So there's no scratch-proof coating on these. They will scuff or scratch very easily, so only use microfiber stuff to, to wash them. And they got pretty filthy yesterday. I don't know what happened, but they are, I can't see through them without washing them. So as soon as I find my little microfiber cleaners, I'm gonna wash my glasses so I'll be able to see, but for right now, it's like a couple years ago again. <sighs> Thumbs up for that. Anyway though, <coughs> I'm going to have my dentures done today and I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Normally, what they say to do in this time, I, you know, I called them up, we got things, we talked about stuff, and the thing is you're supposed to go there they will call you in because you stay in your car if there's people in there they'll call you in when it's time and then you go in they they do impression stuff they take your dentures and then you don't get them back until three o'clock that afternoon My ride has to be at work at 3 o'clock. And it's like 13 miles, so walking it, I don't think I can do, especially since I have to walk along one of the Washington State highways if I wanted to get there. That's not safe. I don't know any of the roads. If I have to take any of the side roads, I'm quite sure that's, well, probably 15 or more miles. I, 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 that, I can't walk that, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. I may have to wait until tomorrow morning to pick up my, my newly repaired and imprinted and stuff dentures, if they can even do it that way, because you have to put them in to check them and see, so I might have to just stay there and then walk home? I don't know. I don't know. We will have to see what happens. And, and we will thumbs up for that but anyway that's I got up very early today because you know I have an appointment so I got nervous which I do and so I, I slept and I went to bed a little early but I was up at 430 so 445 and I was up and in here so it's early it's only 10 after 6 and I need to get this done because after all we're gonna be leaving you know normally when I would still be uploading and such so thumbs up for that yay yeah so it's it's very early and yay also going on to this one thing that they talk about because I've got my little topics list down here is they say to do not assume that you're having just an allergic reaction, seasonal allergies, if you feel ill. If you feel sick, go in and get yourself tested. Just in case. Now, I'm horrible this morning. Oh my God. And I know why, I think. Because finally, last night, I was doing a very, very, very small bit of cleaning up in my bedroom last night, looking for my old dentures, the bandage dentures. And I found one of the two parts, so didn't find the top one. I'm going to keep looking to see if I can find it. So, uh. But while I was doing that, I finally found and decided to change the filter on my sleep apnea machine. I'm glad I did. It was pretty gray with dust. But that means it was very, very clean air all last night through my sleep apnea machine. Very, very clean and filtered air. 
So ever since I've woke up, all of the junk in the air has just been destroying my sinuses and lungs. Oh, yay. I have been coughing extra. I have blown out like five pounds of mucus, it feels like, already out of my nose. I went from perfectly clear and able to breathe and perfectly clear sinuses to, well, I, I'm, I'm wheezing and my sinuses are full. So thumbs up. Now, again, don't assume seasonal allergies if you feel like you're sick, but I went from perfectly clear lying down with my filtered air to uh, here I am now, you know, and two hours later. So yeah, it's, it's allergies in my case. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> Yay. But yes, it, in your case, if you may have had exposure and you are feeling ill, it's best to get yourself checked. I mean, it's awful to get yourself checked. I've seen what it looks like where they take the, the long swabs and they go through the nose and they have to get the back, 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 back with that thing. Ugh. But if you don't think about it, I mean, because we do horrible stuff like that all the time, it's just different because it, it's not usually done. But it, if it's done correctly and such, it's not going to hurt, and it's over like that, so thumbs up. <laughs> uh. But such is life on that. And then one thing I really wanted to talk about, because this is so weird, it is really, really odd. I mean, it's not incredibly odd, but it just seems weird to me. I watch a lot of weird channels. One of the channels is, is called like Tempo Knot because there's a couple channels they do time-lapse photography of stuff just rotting. They'll put like a, a, a pork chop or a slice of melon and then they'll just have their camera take time-lapse pictures over like the next month and a half as the thing just decays with insects coming in and just and at the end they flip over what's left so it's it can be pretty rough because it's you know you're encroaching mortality they'll put like a dead fish or a dead frog an actual you know full animal that you can see and then you get to watch what happens after you're dead it's it's rough but they had this one on a mango mangoes are very very well well set up it took like three months for this thing to fully go bad and it was well over a month of just sitting with the time lapse photography before you could even see any decay starting to really occur but the music on this thing was absolutely incredible music just reminded me so much of like the Pink Floyd and all that of the the late 60s and early 70s just amazing song looked it up because they put the name of the author on there and the song and it's called Lonely Trout Man 2 by a fellow called Will Rosati so I look him up online two years ago he dumped like 12, 15 songs onto his YouTube channel and some of them went, or at least some of them, if not all of them, went straight into the YouTube audio library so they're copyright free so you can use them. Most of the songs are just standard, you know, they're, they're set up like normal songs and I don't really like them because they're nothing. They're just normal. I mean, they're not nothing. They're well put together. They're good songs, but they're just songs. But the one, one piece of music, Lonely Trout Man 2, sticks out like a sore thumb in the middle of all this, hey, it's just music, with this electro... Oh, excuse me. I drank carbonated beverages, and now it's all escaping. But they... <sighs> He, all this electro synth pop stuff in this song 
There's none of the normal musical instruments and it's just that one song. And oh my God, I love that song. I like not just normal standard pop music stuff. I mean, anything that's just, you know, if it slides in one side and comes out the other and doesn't really leave an impression, that's most standard pop type music and there's nothing really to it. It's just designed to go and then gone. And then, you, you know, you're ready for the next product to go. I like the music that leaves bits of itself behind, that leaves scores and little runnels as it goes through so that you're thinking about it. It leaves you something. And even though this is just kind of a electro synth pop 80s type thing, or no, 70s, 60s type thing, there's just really something to it. And that's very, very cool. Quite awesome indeed. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think about that often. I don't really like a lot of just standard pop stuff. It's got to be slightly off, slightly weirder. I mean, I like normal pop things. You know, there's the older pop stuff that's still pop semi-popular today. Like the group Mungo Jerry that did the group, the song like Summertime. You know, da 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 that song has ever since they first came out with that song they still perform it live today well I mean they would I don't know if they're even still alive but like 10 years ago in some they were still doing that so I'm not even sure where I was going with that but it's I like the stuff that's yeah, there's the light and fluffy stuff, but I like the stuff that you have to work at to really get into. Where the stuff that, as much as Dorian Electra's music is a lot of pop stuff going on in it, there's a lot of extra stuff going on in it as well. Like the song Flamboyant off of the album release, Flamboyant, where there, it breaks into so many different types. It's... if if it was a car, it would not be driving at 35. It would be constantly being shifted from 35 to 20 to, and then constantly moving and shifting. Constantly. And I love that about music. I love that about people that can do that. That think about, hey, you know what would break up this part that is really, really good and really got you snapping your fingers? If we break that into something that's completely different. But then they converge it in such a way that even though it is a complete break, it still feels like it fits and it works. And that's awesome. Which ties up in a mashup artist. I really wish I could do like mashup artist stuff like people, but that's just one of those, hey, it's neat. I wish I could do that kind of desires because I don't know how people can listen to one song hear another song and then just think to themselves as one thing is running hey you know what would sound good if i put this song with this song and then added some of this other song to it yeah and then they do that and they mix and match it like the latest one by this one fellow i think his name is william mancini but he does mashups and one of them was a slipknot and maroon five mashup and he mixes and matches the videos to go together with the audio as well and it looks like it's for real like slipknot and maroon 5 work together to mash up one of their songs and then perform it on stage but it's not and i am just so jealous of that talent <laughs> But I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, and different. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. And even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, my brain damage, my alcoholism, my, my pain-related insomnia, I'm lucky I can remember anything at all. 
getting better all the time. But, oh, I got a twitch under here. It's been going on for like a day and some, and it gets my eyelid, and I hate it. Thumbs up for that. Let me call up my Chrome, because good God, I hate the YouTube studio. We have Bosco LGZ, thumbs up and thank you. And Kyle, who eats custard, thumbs up. We have Addison Ace, greatly appreciated. Gaming with Joseph Contreras, greatly appreciated. Awesome Ninja 165, thumbs up and thank you. Noah Salisbury, greatly appreciated. Ollie B, thumbs up and thank you, and yes they are. Kyra Munn, thumbs up and thank you. We have Joey Bigler, greatly appreciated. Lame Dude Gaming, thumbs up and thank you. We have Freddie Mercury, <laughs> thumbs up. Sergeant Savage, greatly appreciated. We have Kathy Kitzkat, good to see you in the comments. And Confused Owl 29, thumbs up. Good to see you in the comments as well. Art Ill Chris, thumbs up and thank you. We have, gods, I hate the, what they've done to the YouTube studio. Even after I've loaded everything up, I can't, it doesn't even scroll easily. It just won't even scroll, it sucks. Maxim Holmes, greatly appreciated. Elder Wolf 569, thumbs up and thank you. We have Gunk in my trunk, <laughs> thumbs up and thank you. Wilder Francisco Martinez Alfaro, Thumbs up and thank you. Liking the covers. 4963. Oh, I hate this bloody YouTube studio. It's so good. Gabe Jaizani. Thumbs up and thank you. And Aaron S. Thumbs up and thank you. Perfect Tragedy. Greatly appreciated. Ugh. It just constantly pulls back to servers. Instead of loading up one page, it constantly talks. And so you ha you can't even smoothly scroll because it gets to the bottom and then it pulls back and then loads up one or two comments and then pulls back, loads up one or two, and it, oh my god, it's annoying. Slick Ninja 70 underscore, thumbs up and thank you. And Draven Deasley, thank you so very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and the bloody YouTube studio. It is a very good thing. Thank you so very, very much. If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below if you could check that out. And if you wanted to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list thing down below as well. Thank you so much to Potatotron. I got the bedding and I got the SIM card replacer. Thank you. Oh, and the cat food. Thank you so very, very much. Very, very awesome and greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, if you wanted to help me out but you... <sighs> I always derail myself. If you wanted to help me out, but you know, don't feel don't feel obligated. I don't feel entitled. And if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart, where I draw interest. So thank you very much. Maybe I should stop derailing myself right there. You know, since I have so much trouble after doing that, maybe I shouldn't. Makes sense, huh? Huh? <laughs> if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell, that would be very cool and greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Definitely a thumbs up. Well, good golly, Miss Molly, because I have that appointment, I need to start editing and rendering and all that and getting things uploaded and ready to go. So, thumbs up. This may be my only video for today because I don't know when I'll be back or what's going to happen. We shall see. Definitely a thumbs up. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. I need to find my glasses cleaners. I can clean my glasses, but still, take care, be safe, and I will see you on the flip side.